What we have now is a variation on solve the triangle. In this case, we're not asked to solve the triangle. We don't need to find all the missing pieces, just one of them. Occasionally, you're not interested in all the missing pieces. That's a good problem to ask from my side of the screen because it makes sure you know how to find all the pieces. Sometimes you're asked to find only one of the missing pieces. In this case, we're given angle B is equal to 90. We're given angle N is given to be 66. So we'll see, this is 90. This angle is given to be 66 degrees. And we're given lowercase n is given to be 87. Again, the units for the linear distances are irrelevant, so I'm going to, I'm going to suppress them. The question we're asked is, uh, oh, sorry, in, this, in the triangle we're given, that's part of that sentence. The question we're asked is, what is the length of Q? This is the only thing we're asked to find. Yes, we could find angle or side B, but we're not, we're not asked to. We could find angle Q. We're not asked to do that. So make sure you just answer the question you've been asked. The question we've been put is, what is the length of side lowercase Q? And we're told to round our answer to two decimal places. So we're explicitly told what to do. All right. So all we need to do is find side Q. We're out. Well, uh, so what do we do? We use the angle we're given from the perspective of the given angle. First off, which side is the hypotenuse? Which side is the hypotenuse here? Is it clear? Since angle B is the right angle, that means side lowercase b must be the hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse. From the perspective of angle N, from the perspective of angle N, lowercase n is opposite lowercase q is adjacent. This is opposite, this is adjacent. So we have been given opposite, we desire adjacent. So given and desired, opposite and adjacent. Knowing SOHCAHTOA, which of the trig functions involves opposite and adjacent? Now, tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we know we're going to be using tangent. After that, write it out. Say it and write it. We know tangent of the angle given in question, tangent of the given angle is 66 degrees, is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is the desired. So tangent of given 66 is equal to given opposite over desired adjacent. Make it into a fraction, cross multiply, set them equal, and it is all over but the shouting. So when we cross multiply, so this implies 87 is equal to cross multiply here. This is Q times tangent of 66. Uh, so what is Q, right? Divide this, divide both sides by this number. This is just a number. It's a decimal, but give it just a number. So uh, Q, divide both sides by that value. So 87 over that number is equal to Q. Now, at long last, the very last thing, go to the calculator. The very last thing, go to the calculator. And so what do you have? I have 87, I have divided by, I have tangent, I have 66. Uh, and I have 38.73489. I have Q is equal to what I just say, 38.7348, yada, yada, yada. And we want two decimal places because that's what the direction said. Why? I don't care why. That's what the boss said. So the boss says two decimals. I give you two decimals. So this four... 0 to 4, leave this value alone. So we will use Q is equal to 38.73. And the trick is done. So um, choose the appropriate function. Write it out. Cross multiply. Set them equal and solve. So this should be pretty straightforward and not brutally challenging to be able to either solve the entire triangle or find one piece of the missing one missing piece of that triangle